Interstate 215. Yeah. And Clark County 215. Yeah. All right. We are talking about I-215 and the Clark County 215, which will eventually be I-215, the Las Vegas Loop. It is probably the most built-up county road in the entire country, I would have to imagine. Let's take a look at the route. So the old I-215 goes from 515 and now I-11 to I-15. The newer Clark County 215 loops around the west side of Las Vegas and goes through kind of Summerline, I guess, the Vegas slash unincorporated Clark County neighborhood out there. You're watching Control City Freak. This is the YouTube channel where we talk about interstate highways and the places that they're signed to go to. If you dig this kind of content, why not give us a like? And if you really like it, why not subscribe? Yeah, subscribe. Or even better, why not join the Patreon? Right now, up until the end of 2023, you'll get a free $5 super like for the entire time you are subscribed if you join now. You can also access all kinds of other cool stuff. You'll get to know of roads we're doing way up front or input into what we're doing. Lots of fun stuff over at the Patreon. Really appreciate everybody who's already joined. You can also request your exit the old-fashioned way in a $5 super sticker. And next week, we are going to be talking about Wisconsin Highway 29. The week after that, we're talking about Queen Elizabeth Way in Ontario. And then after that, we will be talking about I-495 in Massachusetts. All right, let's talk about 215, and we're going to go with the inner loop. So we start here on 515 slash I-11, and we see 515 is signed North Las Vegas, 11 South for Boulder City, and we are on the Lake Mead Parkway right now, but it will become 215 West, which has no control city whatsoever. Coming off of 515, it is 215 West and the East Lake Mead Parkway. At random interchanges, we're doing just the California thing, just a freeway entrance sign and no control cities given. And so we start with a laundry list of exits, and this is kind of what we get throughout the entire thing, just various roads that'll be signed. Here is our next laundry list of exits, and we see this St. Rose Pecos Road is a state highway, so it's going to be fairly substantial. Here's a look at the St. Rose and Pecos Road exit, exit 6. Reed Airport right here. And right after that, we get an exit for Las Vegas Boulevard, the Strip itself. You can pretty much start the southern end of the Strip. You'll pass the airport and be able to move on up. It'd be awesome if you could take a train there from the airport, but they had to stop the train at the MGM because, God forbid, the taxi drivers not be able to rip you off to get two miles down the road. And now we're meeting I-15. We get 15 South Los Angeles and 15 North Las Vegas. So most people think of where we are kind of as Las Vegas, but this is unincorporated Clark County here, Paradise, Nevada specifically. And after meeting 15 for Los Angeles, we now get the start of Clark County 215. So yeah, interesting that we have this massive freeway that is a county road and not even like a state highway. I wonder why it wasn't a state highway. I guess Clark County just built it on their own without the state. And at random interchanges here, we're just getting the same kind of thing, freeway entrance. And right here is where our westbound ends and we make a massive turn to the north and become northbound 215 from this point. Roads getting onto northbound 215 actually are assigned for Las Vegas. We do get into the Las Vegas city limits. It's nothing like what anybody who thinks of Las Vegas would think of, but it is in fact the city of Las Vegas that we'll go through. Here's just kind of what the road looks like in general. They've got some nice looking bridges here with the street names on it, like this Charleston Boulevard thing. It's pretty cool. And at more random interchanges, we are just getting north 215. Once we are in the city limits of Vegas, we get no control city whatsoever, but we do get some nice towering desert mountains in the background there. Here we're meeting the Summerline Parkway, which is probably the biggest road that we meet in this particular part of 215 on this western end of Las Vegas. And we see we're going to be meeting US 95 soon, so that's one of the bigger interchanges we have as well. US 95 is signed south for Las Vegas, and we're not seeing anything north yet. Looks like this interchange is still kind of under construction, and 215 will become more of an expressway than a freeway after this, which is why it is not Interstate 215 yet. I had a look coming from the other way on Street View to be able to see this one, so we see a Reno and Las Vegas, so 95 sign north for Reno. 95 doesn't actually go to Reno, but it is the road you would want to take to get to Reno, so I 100% agree with this. And here's what it kind of looks like now, or at least as of the most recent street view, that it is kind of just an expressway, not a divided highway right now, but they are obviously working on changing that. Now we're meeting exit 50 Centennial Parkway. This is one of the bigger streets we pass as well. 
And now we are ending at I-15, which is also US-93 at this point. So we see 15 for Eli and Salt Lake City. Eli is for US-93. And 15 South, Las Vegas and Los Angeles. So if you're going to put two on there, why not put LA on there too? Because it's the control city for I-15 further south. And we also see the end East Clark County 215 signs. All right, let's talk about the outer loop. When you're traveling northbound on I-15, this is what it looks like. We see I-15 and US-93 North Salt Lake City, 215 West with no control city whatsoever given. Coming from the other way, it's even less fanfare. We don't get an overhead pull through for I-15. We just get this West Tropical Parkway. Once we're on 215, the views are pretty stunning in this northern area of Las Vegas with these mountains in the background. And now we're going to be meeting US-95. US-95 doesn't get a Las Vegas sign here. It's only US-95 South. Again, there's a lot of flux in this area, so that could change. Now on US-95, we just get this same kind of thing. Clark County 215 East and West. And West isn't quite open yet. Coming the other way on US-95, same kind of thing. So no control cities whatsoever. They're just not really too concerned with control cities on 215 at this point. Here we pass under Ann Road, and we are getting a laundry list of exits here. The western leg of 215 passes through basically stuff that just looks like this. If that's your jam, more power to you. Definitely not mine. 215, we are now going to be signed for Henderson. So Henderson we, gives us a control city. Go straight here, you get on Jerry Tarkanian Way. I gotta say, yeah, I was a Tarkanian fan back in the day. UNLV basketball was kind of just the most amazing thing ever. They were just this supernova that came out of nowhere and were like the biggest thing in the world for two years and then completely disappeared, never to be heard from again. They were basically like the Mongol empire of college basketball. And we do see at other exits here at Roy Horn Way, we are getting east 215 Henderson because we have now made the curve toward the east. Here we're meeting I-15, I-15 signed for Salt Lake City and Los Angeles, so they're not giving us North Las Vegas, they're giving us North Salt Lake City, because I guess they assume if you're on 215 at this point, you wanted to go into Central Vegas, you would have already taken a different way. Here's what it looks like on 15, right next to the stadium where the Chiefs are going to be playing soon, and where the Super Bowl will be played, the Death Star thing here, and we see right there, it is the exit for Russell Road, and 15 and 215 are straight ahead. And off of I-15, 215, is signed for Henderson and the airport. So that makes sense. I think there's actually a different ramp to the airport from here. And yeah, coming off of I-15, we get West Clark County 215, no control cities, and East I-215, Henderson and airport. And here is our exit for the airport once again. If you are getting on 215 from the airport, we get 215 East Henderson, and 215 West Las Vegas and Warm Springs Road, thrown in there for good measure. Continuing east, here is that major highway 146, the state highway, exit once again. And at that interchange, we do get something. We don't just get freeway entrance. We get 215 East, Henderson, and Lake Mead. Now we're going to be getting 515 for Las Vegas, and along with US-93 and US-95, and I-11 for Boulder City, which I understand Boulder City is kind of the only place I-11 goes right now, but, you know, we signed 515 for Phoenix downtown. Why not sign 11 for Phoenix here, or at least for Kingman? And we see we are going to be on State Highway 564 Lake Mead Parkway if we go straight. And we have these exits for 515 and I-11. And that will end 215. So let's take a look at Todd's the way it should be. My way is a little different than how they have. I'm going to say for the inner loop, sign it for the strip and for the airport. And then from the I-15 junction, sign it for Summerline. Just because, again, some, nobody knows Summerline, but the people in Summerline know Summerline. And that is where it's going to be going. It, like I say, it's a neighborhood that's half Las Vegas proper and half unincorporated Clark County, but it's kind of all one conglomeration of stuff. After that, I would sign it for Reno up until the US-95 junction, and then sign it for Salt Lake City after that because we're we're going to be merging with I-15. For the outer loop, I would sign it Reno to start with because of that US-95 junction. Then sign it for Summerline from there for a few miles. Then once we're in Summerline, sign it for the Strip slash the airport because it is going to be the faster way to get over to there. After the I-15 intersection, then you should sign it for Henderson, which is what they do. All right, thank you so much for watching this episode of Control City Freak. We will be back next week with Wisconsin 29. But until then, my name is Todd keep on trucking.